Welcome back to another episode of the Blackpool career mode here on FIFA 22. Now you're probably wondering why I'm already in the top corner of the screen as normally that happens in the second half of the episode. Well this episode is going to be slightly different to the other ones so far. That is because this episode only consists of one month pretty much. In April and one game in May. It is the end of the season so I thought why not just do it all live commentated and let's see if we can stay in the championship. We currently sit 18th in the league on 43 points, three points clear of the bottom three at the moment but it is very very close and any one of the teams you see on screen right now could be relegated. So I guess let's just get straight into it shall we? The first game we've got is at home to top of the league Nottingham Forest. We're sticking with the 5-2-1-2 that we played in the last game of last episode to see if it can continue to work, although this game probably won't be a good indicator for that. If you go on to enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more and if you don't want to miss a video hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I upload. Let's get on to this game against Nottingham Forest. It's Lyle Taylor with the strike and Maxwell already forced into an early save. Now the game has had an update since I've last played so I don't know how much it's going to affect the gameplay and the sliders I'm using. Uh, but I haven't changed any sliders or anything since the last episode. It's just it's the same ones that I showed off. Nottingham Forest are looking to get a goal here. We've got so many players back though. It feels good to have this many players back. But it looks like it's not going to matter. It doesn't matter. They found their way through. Cafu is the one who's got the goal. I was going to say it feels good to have that many players back able to defend. Because that's what I've constantly been up against. Because everyone plays five at the back. But of course our defence still gets breached because it's our defence. They've given the ball away though, Gabriel takes a while to it, everything seems to be taking a while, I feel like I've got latency. There's Cafu with a shot, it's blocked by Epiteta, and Epiteta does well to actually get that away as well. And now here comes Ryan Wintel with a ball over the top, the pace of Bergzor can help him here, and he has got through, Delano, what are you doing? Oh my days, that was, that, you should have at least got that on target, he's absolutely skied it over. The game's had an update and now it's just, it's, it's reset my, why does it reset the settings every time? Oh, that's a great ball in and Lyle Taylor with the head of Maxwell, can you get that? Yes, you can. That was a great save from Maxwell in fairness. Tinkanago gets the better of Dougal. Connolly's come out to try and meet him and it's gone inside to Cafu. Oh, and Lyle Taylor's in and Lyle Taylor makes it 2-0 to Forest. No one picked him up. We had like six players there, but no one picked him up. It's poor from Ekpateta that. Should have at least found someone with that. And Cafu with the strike. And Cafu's got a second. And I think that's his third goal against us this season. He scored one in the away game. Uh, he scored a rocket in the away game from like 25 yards. And he's done it again. So it's 3-0 at full time to Nottingham Forest. Kind of what I expected in all honesty. Uh, that was not a good indicator for how this formation works. Or how we play. And we played half of the game with the game doing most of the things for us. So... Yeah, that was just a pretty rubbish one all round. Next up, we head off to Ewood Park. Sticking in the northwest, we are away at Blackburn Rovers. That's a great ball in the box from Gabriel Bergzorg's header. He was already being pulled back by the defender, so... I don't know why it's not a, a penalty. Oh, Mitchell, that's a great tackle. He can, he can run here, he can run. He can run very quickly. Bergzorg stopped his run, Mitchell gets it into the middle, where Keshi Anderson is there to meet the header and put us in the lead. Get in! That's a great goal from Keshi Anderson. Ever since he's come back into the team replacing Timber, he has been absolutely amazing. I thought we'd lost that when Bergzorg stopped his run, but Anderson was there instead. And really, I mean, the keeper should have saved it, but who cares? Mitchell again with a tackle, but it's found its way back to Dolan. But Hendry is there to tackle, but it's found its way back to Dolan. And ranking Costello, Mitchell with the interception. But look at that, Blackburn still have the ball. Surely when you make a tackle, you should at least have a decent chance of winning the ball back. And they've scored. I can't believe this game. What? I make three tackles. Three. And they all just go straight back to them. And they've scored from that move. Ridiculous. And also, what is Maxwell doing letting that in at his near post like that? Like, what is this? What, what is that? Just get the ball. These two would be, these two are doing my head in. And it's found its way into the middle again. Ekpateta with the tackle. But guess what? It goes straight back to them. Mm, this game. Am I just not supposed to have the ball anymore? I will accept 
when I'm losing a game when it's my own fault. But this is not my own fault. I've conceded two goals through the game thinking that a tackle means that you just don't get the ball back. Bergzorg out wide, it's Mitchell again. And this time it's Keshi Anderson waiting in the middle again. And Keshi Anderson's done it again. Two goals for Keshi Anderson, two assists for Dimitri Mitchell, two, two. Oh my days, what on earth, Bergzorg? No, no. It's another near post. It's another near post goal. I can't believe this. Dunlop. Here goes Dunlop. He's finding the space himself. I don't know what foot he is. But it doesn't matter. Let's get the cross in. Big Zorg. No, he's not there. Oh, that's going to be it. We're not going to get another chance now. Because Blackburn are just going to keep the ball. And if we tackle them, we're not going to get it back. Because that's what this game is. Look. What is... Oh. I can't believe this. Oh, and they're still going forward as well. I mean, at least blow the whistle when you're supposed to blow the whistle. Oh, you make a save now, do you, Maxwell? When we're already losing. Like, what's the point in all this? They've already won. Give me flipping mercy. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. This game is fucking good. I didn't need this. I d what's the point in all that happening? What was the point in all that? This game is literally trying to get me relegated. It's literally trying to get me relegated. I don't know what else to say at this point. It's literally, it is, it is trying its damn hardest. So our current situation now is that we are two points clear of the bottom three with five games remaining. QPR have managed to claw themselves away. They're now six points clear. Bristol City are four points clear. West Brom, oh lovely. Luton, Derby, that's a huge game. And our final game is at bottom of the league, Peterborough. So those last two games could be crucial because Derby are on the same points as us right now. And as I already said, Peterborough are bottom. Considering simmed games work out well for us, I'm going to simulate this game because I would lose it if I was playing it. So I'm going to simulate. I'm going to even, I'm even going to use the second team. Let's see what happens. Do we win? No, it's another 4-2 loss, as if that's happened twice in a row. And even our backup goalkeeper got injured. You know things aren't going your way when one of your goalkeepers gets injured and has to get substituted. Here we go then, the next game we're at home, and we're at home to Birmingham City. Rodney's up front instead of Bergzorg, I thought I'd give Bergzorg a bit of a rest. Um, let's see how we go. It's a Nicky. into Jukovic, that's a great save from Maxwell. Here's Antir, Antir, I don't know who you are, but you're clearly so good they named you twice. Gardner to Jukovic to Bella. That's a good tackle from Ekpateta. He stuck his foot out and got the ball. Well, well done to Ekpateta. But Birmingham still have it because we've given it straight back to them. It's inside for Chuck Zaniki. And through for Lukas Jukovic. And it's 1-0 to Birmingham. I think this is, the first this is the first corner we've had all episode so far. And it's a good one as well. And Jerry Yates is there to meet it and give us an equaliser. Yes, Jerry. Great stuff. That pass was so quick, the camera couldn't even keep up with it. And that's a good ball from Gabriel as well. Yates, great ball in. Devante Rodney, no. He should have buried that. Or at least got it on target. This is good so far. I'm liking this performance a lot. That Their goal that they scored was just a lapse in concentration. Like, that that's all it was. They've barely had a chance since. 12 seconds later. Sanchez with a ball in the middle. Jukovic. Aniki back to Jukovic. <laughs> I literally just said that sentence about their goal was just a lapse in concentration. And they've just gone and scored again straight from kickoff. I can't believe it. Look at how many players I've got back. I've, look at all the players I've got back and look at how far back they are. I don't know why they're so deep. I haven't asked them to go that deep. But... Even then, Luke Birmingham just coming forward straight away. I mean, that was a foul by it, Pateta. I tripped Jukovic up before the ball even got to him. <laughs> Win that, Rodney. Nope, he doesn't. We're going to lose this game. Only one minute of added time for some reason, but you know what? He's going to keep playing whilst Birmingham come forward. And we're going to get that out, and that's going to be full time. And we've lost all four games in this episode so far. And we're now back into the bottom three again. Level on points with Reading. And two points behind Hull City and Bristol City. This is, this is too close to call. I'm not liking this at all. We have got to win this game. We've got to win this game. We can't do anything else. Referee. Oh, is he actually going to send him off here? He's been sent off. 
Carlos Mendes Gomez has received a straight red card and Luton are down to 10 men. That is something I was not expecting. Adebayo inside for Peli Ruddock and Panzu. I've lost five games in a row. Derby have lost, which is good, but I'm not bothered about Derby because they're above us anyway. Peterborough are above us now. Peterborough are like six points adrift. With two games to go, it looks like it's a straight fight between us, Peterborough and Hull to stay in the league and maybe Reading as well at a long shot. The two games I have left are Derby, who are now guaranteed safety, pretty much, and Peterborough. I've made the executive decision to simulate this game. We're at home. We are playing against Derby, who are around this area, although are pretty much safe. And simulated games seem to treat us fairly okay. I pressed the wrong sim match. I didn't want to do visual sim. Jump to results. Okay. Jump to results. Please. Oh my god. This is not a loss, but it's not enough. One game remaining. The bottom two, me and Peterborough, play each other. Swansea are playing QPR, who were 20th, that's not good. And Hull are playing Nottingham Forest, who are top of the league. In fact, are they still top of the league? Nottingham Forest are no longer top of the league and are in a scrap of their own with Stoke, Fulham and Blackburn to finish second. If we don't win, we're relegated. If we win, we might be relegated. But if we don't win, we are relegated to League One. This is huge. Let's go. In fact, let's not go yet. Scout report, you scout report, terrible. Okay, now let's go. I don't think I've ever felt this much pressure in a game in my life in FIFA. I have been relegated in a career mode once before. Only once though, and I kept my job. So, hopefully it happens again. If we get relegated, hopefully we keep our job, first of all. And secondly, Peterborough, bottom of the league. I believe this season we have lost to Swansea twice. We have lost to Reading twice. Peterborough, I can't remember what we did against them first time round, but it's all important now that we must win. Whoever wins this game, well, I'll put it this way. We both, one of these teams today is getting relegated at the very, very least. It could be both of them. We've got to make sure that the one team that gets relegated after this game is Peterborough and not us. Let's do this. Oh, now we've got these two guys standing in the middle of the pitch. You're joking me. I mean, luckily these guys are just invisible like they're there but they're not there everything's just going through them oh no we've left a wide open gap and jack maria has put peterborough into the lead there was just a massive gaping hole in our defense and maria was right in it this is very 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 bad we could if we lose this game we finish bottom of the league i've just thought this we finish bottom if we lose. Oh no. Here's Yates. Oh my god, Yates can't pass the ball. Every pass he does is getting blocked. Grant Ward goes for the effort. Grant Ward! What a hit, son! What a hit! Oh, we needed an inspirational moment like that. And Grant Ward, a man who has barely played this season, has provided it. What a guy! Anyway, Yates out wide to bowler. Rodney's in the middle, but he's gone back post to Bergsorg again. Why does he keep doing that? Ward gets it back again. Has another go! Grant Ward! <laughs> what is going on with Grant Ward? He's come alive in this final game. Honestly, great touch to get it out of his feet, to get it out of the way of Grant. And then, with his left foot this time, lashes it into the top corner. The goalkeeper had no chance. Swansea drawing 0-0. Reading drawing 0-0. Hull are beating Nottingham Forest. Why are you doing this now? We need a big, big second half from Nottingham Forest, who are second in the league. Because if Hull win, we're relegated anyway. We need, out of all the teams, we need Hull to lose. Grant Ward, been inspirational so far. He could have another go here. It's been blocked this time. I think they're aware of the danger now with Grant Ward. Here's Paku, of course. Peterborough will still be looking to score here. And Clark Harris's shot is well saved by Maxwell. Ward outside to Butler. Marriott. We just can't let him get a shot away. We've got to tackle him. We've got to get a tackling. Schmodix to Thompson. 
Ah, he's, he's messed it up there. Ek Pateta's done well. We can counter here. Rodney's on a mad run. That's a great ball from Bowler. Rodney's going to get to this. He's going to try anyway. He has got to it. Devante Rodney! His first goal for Blackpool. And he's, uh, he's done it at such a good time. The Peterborough defender did not know what he was doing there. He didn't know what to do. And Rodney snuck in, stole it, and put it in the back of the net. Get in! We're into added time. We are going to win the game. But it's not. that's not the important thing right now. The important thing is, are Hull losing? If Hull need to lose. We've won. We've won 3-1. We've beaten Peterborough. Peterborough are relegated. Are we relegated? We won't know because it's reacting to Peterborough unless... No, we are relegated. It's, it's our reaction. We are down. I think we're relegated. We've been relegated to League One. I think it's happened. Peterborough is celebrating for some reason, but that's the proof that we're down. The fact that Peterborough is celebrating. Hull City won. 2-1 against second place Nottingham Forest. Our goal was to avoid relegation, I believe. We haven't done that. Nottingham Forest massively bottled it. Stoke won the league out of nowhere. Forest were top all season long until the second to last game when Sheffield United took the lead. And then out of nowhere, Stoke. That just puts, that's just the cherry on top, isn't it, for me? So I guess now it's just a case of advancing and seeing what happens next because we will be playing League One football next season. But will we be manager of Blackpool is the question. 73 rated. Are we, are we staying as manager of Blackpool? Are we staying as manager of Blackpool? Come on. I think we are. Now that the season has come to an end, the Blackpool board have met to review your progress as a club on and off the pitch. Whilst we weren't able to achieve all of our objectives on the playing side, we believe that the team delivered a satisfactory performance overall. I certainly did it. We've been relegated. We hope to do even better next year. We literally can't. And believe that you remain the right person to take us forward. Yes. It's almost going to be like a road to glory. Well, it already was a road to glory, but I mean like a League Two team road to glory. It's going to be at least four seasons. We won't be in the Premier League until at least season four. <laughs> this is going to be a longer career mode than I thought. <laughs> but anyway, it's something completely new, isn't it? It's something that's never happened before on my channel or I've barely ever seen happen on any other channel is the club gets relegated. But I'm going to continue. Of course I am. We're going to be playing in League One next season. But let's make the most of it. Let's have fun and let's challenge for the League One title. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss a video, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I upload. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and peace.